Dear Formulators, welcome to my channel on Compounding and Cosmetics. In today's video, we will see how to make a sulfur ointment for the treatment of scabies. The medical prescription we may receive could be Precipitated sulfur 8% White petrolatum, sufficient quantity for 100 grams. Instead of 8%. We could also receive prescriptions for 5%, but the most common is 8%. Other doctors may express the prescription as follows. Sulfurated petrolatum, 8%, 100 grams. Whether in one form or another we are dealing with an ointment, an ointment with sulfur. Let's see how to design this formula. I find it important to add a certain amount of lanolin to increase the dermal penetrability of the ointment so that the sulfur penetrates the deep layers of the skin where this scabies mite is most commonly found. Also known as Sarcoptes scabiae. The sulfur should be incorporated by forming a preliminary paste with 8% liquid petrolatum to avoid lump formation. The formula is self-preserving, not requiring the addition of preservatives. Sulfur, besides eliminating Sarcoptes scabiae, also has antiseptic action, hence no preservatives are needed. Considering the excipients we have indicated, the development of the final formula for 100 grams of ointment would be precipitated sulfur 8 grams, liquid petrolatum 8 grams, anhydrous lanolin 15 grams and white petrolatum, sufficient quantity for 100 grams. As we have already pointed out, the liquid petrolatum facilitates the incorporation of sulfur and the anhydrous lanolin facilitates the penetrability of the white petrolatum along with the sulfur. The method of preparation would be First, in a mortar, we will mix the white petrolatum and the anhydrous lanolin, heating to 30 degrees to facilitate mixing. Second, in another mortar, we place the sulfur and add the liquid petrolatum, stirring until a homogeneous paste is formed. Third, we add the ointment obtained in step 1 in small portions over the sulfur paste, stirring until homogeneous. Thanks to the dispersion of sulfur in the liquid petrolatum, we avoid lump formation. We will obtain a homogeneous yellowish ointment, free of lumps, with medium consistency. It should be packaged in an enameled aluminum tube or a jar to put... So that this ointment has good effectiveness, it should be applied all over the body from the face to the feet. The doctor may indicate that the application be repeated after a few days. Due to the resistance being produced by ivermectin and permethrin, we are returning to classic sulfur ointments like the one we have seen. And that's it for today's video, which I hope you have enjoyed. You can subscribe to my channel to receive updates. Thank you very much for your attention.